We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome, everybody. This is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show, and it is evening time in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. What are we at? It's March 10th, and it is Wednesday. Yes. And um, I've, we've got an exciting show for you today. Um, we've got some very special guests. As I mentioned in yesterday's show, Alara and Zach, who are in Ojai, California, holding the fort down for the rawfoodworld.com, are here with us right now on Skype, and they're going to do some videos for us for when we can't reach new products and just interview people out there. And also, they've got a wealth of information, and uh, we have them here right now. How's it going? Oh, great. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Alara and um, Angela ac actually have a lot, a lot in common. Is that right? Yeah. Maybe you can break out an acapella real quick, <laughs> Alara. <laughs> um, Sing it, sister. Cool. Remember that when you taught us and we we went on a walk? It was the. Um, I'm singing ooh la la lay And now the evening fades away And I know the I know. golden sun won't disappear for long Because tomorrow is another day I'm singing ooh la la lay Another evening fades away. Another what is it? Golden sun. Sun won't disappear for long because tomorrow is another day. Woo! <laughs> Your turn, Zach. No, no. <laughs> and Zach over here is dying to see me ride one of the horses. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That should be an interesting uh, thing if I attempt to just jump on a horse, which I've never done before. I'll, I'll do it. Right? Is that okay, babe? Whatever you want. Okay. So the singing is just not, it's just the beginning of these people's skills and everything like that. We know Zach is an awesome raw chef, and he's been just doing this for a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Awesome is <laughs> And Alara is a relationship expert. Mm -hmm. Ah, hmm. relationship, <laughs> passionate person. <laughs> I've, I've spent a lot of time studying it, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to share what, what I've learned to add it to what everybody else already knows. <laughs> well, but as for Zach Sheffing, I just want to say, he, as you'll see as, as you watch the videos, he wears tie-dye. Like, that's his uniform. He wears tie-dye. We have shelves and shelves of tie-dye. And when he chefs, he has a tie-dye apron. So you'll get to see that, too. I've <laughs> never seen a sequel. <laughs> What's your favorite recipe to make, Zach? Uh, so far, a simple onion bread is pretty pretty darn good. The onion bread we do. But all, of, all the ones we've done so far, I haven't, I haven't disliked. They're all, they're all pretty stellar. We just did a Napa, a Napa cabbage slot uh, last night that we tried out today. Awesome. So, so they're going to be doing recipes, they're going to be doing product reviews that we can't do and all sorts of fun things. And they'll probably do like two videos a week or something like that. You want to say something, babe? I would say Laura's a really good chef as well from everything I've ever experienced. And she's great with communications as well. So maybe she'll be sharing some communication tips with us. Alara's chef is absolutely stellar. She does, she does <laughs> dressings that will curl the toes. <laughs> Lots of crackling that are the most out of this world. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. yeah, there's a few things I like to do, but I'm pretty much a very lazy rock clutus. So I'm actually going to be getting into Norman Walker salads a whole bunch, so I'll be able to model those for y'all too. Nice. Alara, you can definitely sense that she's a raw foodist because um, she's been doing this for years also, and she's sensitive, kind of like I am and many other raw foodists out there are also. And um, you'll 
probably noticed that. Like, I'm pretty sensitive to. Um, yeah, if she goes to a raw food restaurant, she sits there and burps for like hours on end. <laughs> So, can I just ask you a quick question, Alara? Yeah. Why is there such a communication barrier between men and women, and there's like such a hard time understanding each other? Like, what's going on there? That's a very big, broad question, isn't it? Yeah. That's that's a big one. Let me see how I would how I would say it. So basically. We talk to each other as we like to be talked to. So, what works for us as a woman, we talk to a man like that, and that doesn't necessarily work for a man. And so, so because we treat, we do the golden rule. I like to say we do the golden rule. We treat others the way we like to be treated, instead of the platinum rule, which is treating others the way they would like to be treated. So. In my in my learnings, I actually learn how men want to be talked to, and then I have to, and that's a whole nother universe. And then, um, so so I try and follow the platinum rule, is what I call it, and that's that's just why we just we follow the golden, which is good. We try our best, but it usually misses the mark. Can you just give one example? Sure. So. The word could versus the word would. If if a woman is asked the word, could you do something for me? That works really really well. It's not threatening. It's um. It the word could usually usually hits the mark. But if you ask a man that, a man is much more literal usually. And so. He hears the word "could" as a question of his abilities. So, if you ask him, "Could you take the trash out?" he might look at you like, "Yeah, of course I could take the trash out. I might not want to." It's not asking for his agreement or his partnership. But if you ask him, "Would you take the trash out?" that's a whole other energy, and a guy you you can summon his hero a lot more if you if you use the word "would" versus "could" because then it's asking for his partnership, and he's doing it. For you, instead of just、um, uh, doing something off your checklist, it's it's a much more way of honoring what a man provides for the relationship. I'm so on with that. I, like when someone tells me something to do, like I kind of Angela knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mr. Monk doesn't like rules. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So.、Um, I'm really excited to have these two on board for the Raw Food World TV show, doing episodes per week.、Um, they just tried this awesome new product that we haven't even been able to try, and like they're just raving about it. But we don't have it on our website yet. But things like this is what they're going to be able to do.、Um, maybe Alar and Alar will tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.